Hello, in this video, you will learn three things. First, how to build cross-environment strategies. Then, how to convert all your cloud infrastructures into reusable templates. And then, how to use modules directly on Brainbow. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to go to the architecture selector where we can find our project, our environment, and our architecture. Then we are going to create new environments. Here, for example, we're going to create production. Then we're going to create staging. And then we're going to create tests. So here, as you can see, in this project, you have the dev, the production, staging, and test. Let's say now that you would like to go from dev to production. It's very easy. You simply need to clone the architecture from dev to prod. Here, you keep the name as it is, or you can modify it. And here, you clone the architecture. Now, you are in prod. And now, let's say that you would like to make some changes on this architecture. One of the best practices of infrastructure as code is to create different versions. So here, we're going to do so initial commit. And now let's say we delete this NSG. Here we create deleted NSG and then we commit. As you can see here, you can go back and forth between the different version. And here we go back to the architecture selector. We go to dev and here we can observe that nothing happened and you didn't create any version in it. So it's good. This is the first use case. Second use case, you want to go from dev to staging. Then you do clone, dev staging. Here, you keep the name as it is or you modify it. And then you do a sync. Now you clone. So now you go to staging. And here you can see that you have the architecture sync information with the environment and the architecture. Let's say now that you would like to make some changes on this architecture. So you create initial commit. You delete the NSG. Here, you create a new version is deleted NSG. So as you can see, you are still in staging. Now you go to dev. So everything that you have done in one environment has been reflected into the other one. So here, the energy is not there. And here, you have your two versions. The modification that you need to do is based on the variable. So here, you open variable, you have one. And here, for example, you say region, so architecture. Here is a string. And here, for example, is random. Then you add. So now you have two variables. So now you go here to staging. You go to variable and you have only one variable. This is the second use case. So now let's go back to dev and to initial commit. Okay. So now let's say that you would like to go from dev to test. And this time we are going to convert this architecture into a reusable template. So you create the template, either organization or public, we keep it in organization, so private mode. Here, the new name will be like that. And here you publish the architecture. So now you are going to test here. You have all of your architecture. And here, as you can see before, you can go to network security. You clone the template. In literally two seconds, you have the architecture and you have your code. So I showed you now how to create your template. Now you want to create, for example, and you want to use modules, simply need to import the module 
data module here, you specify the module name from the registry or the Git or from files, and then you import it. Once it's imported, you are able to build your own module catalog. For example, here, we are going to look for Azure. So for example, we can be Azure MVNet mod. Here, you pin the module to be able to use it and then use it here. As you can see, you have all the information, module name, module source, optional variable, but you can configure your own module. And then here, you can see that line 70, the module has already been there. So I showed you how to build your cross environment strategies, how to convert all your infrastructure into reusable templates and how to use modules on Brainboard. I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use cases on Brainboard. Have a great day.